Epson Edge Print Pro comes with several of our printers and there's some added features you can take advantage of when connecting it to the SD10. I'm going to navigate on the right hand side down to color replacement. What I have here on the right hand side you can see a color listed Pantone 699C and that's a already named spot color in this file. But I can press edit then press eyedropper and select other colors that might be in this file. In this case, I'm going to choose the background color. The background color is not a named color, but it can be identified by its RGB values, like you see here on the right. That's its color recipe. And what we can do by connecting the SD10 to Epson Edge Print is do a spot color replacement directly into this workflow. Down at the bottom, I'm going to select color measurement, and I'm going to turn on my SD10. Right now it's searching the area for Bluetooth devices and it's found my SD10. So I'm going to select it and click OK. Make sure you close the shutter at the bottom of the SD10 so that it can do an initial color calibration. Once the shutter is closed, click Execute. It's going to perform a calibration and a connection. On the screen of my SD10 it's asking me to connect to the external device and I want to hit click Yes on the SD10. There you go, I'm connected, and now I can measure colors directly into Epson Edge Print. You'll notice down at the bottom here that the color measurement button is colored blue. When you see that, you have an active connection to the SD10. So now I've got a blue sheet next to me here, and I've got the color that I want to replace selected, which is that background color, that teal. I'm going to open the shutter again, place the SD10 over my color, and hit the measurement button. What you'll see here is both in the output color along the right hand side and in the image itself, the color has been replaced. Now that you've performed the spot color replacement, you can send this job to the printer and evaluate the output. And of course, you can do the comparison with the SD10 itself standalone by disconnecting it from EdgePrint, measuring the thing that you've just measured into EdgePrint and measuring the output and see how close they are right on the screen of the SD10. If your color is not as close as you'd like it to be, you do have one more step you can take. Down at the bottom here, there's Output Color Adjustment Chart. What this will do is use the color that you've just measured and printed and use it as a starting point to do an exploration for some other colors. So what I can do here, I want fewer or more patches and I can control how different these patches should be from each other. Now I'm going to just go with the default values here click Add Job, and it'll take the settings that you're currently using in Edge Print and generate a new image. You can see it processing there on the left hand side. So what Edge Print has done has made an, a color exploration chart. In the very middle is our start color that we measured in. Above and below and around it are slightly different colors. Some are more yellow or more blue, a little more green, a little more red, and lighter and darker. Before you send this chart to print, we want to scale it up slightly so that the patch is large enough to be measured by the SD10. I'm going to go to the Layout tab and select in Width and Height. I'm going to scale both of those up to about 175%. And make sure that link icon is checked between the width and height and it'll scale everything accordingly. If you can't scale it that large, you can crop this image a little bit with the crop tool down at the bottom here to whatever your printer can fit. Send this job to your printer, collect the output, and now what you can do is measure the original target that you measured as a spot color replacement into Edge Print and measure some of these patches and see which ones provide the lowest delta E. So when doing a spot color replacement workflow with the SD10 and Epson Edge Print, you connect to the SD10, you measure a color into each spot color that you want to replace or each solid color that you'd like to replace, print an output and evaluate the results. And if you need to get closer with some colors, you can create this discovery chart in the color replacement tab. With the Epson SD10 and Epson Edge Print Pro, you've got a powerful spot color replacement workflow. You can measure colors out in the real world directly into Edge Print 
and replace any solid color or named spot color in the files you're using. If the colors don't get as close as you'd like the first time, you can further refine the results by producing an output color adjustment chart to really dial that color in. And with the Epson SD10 standalone, you can measure your standard and the results to make sure you're getting the lowest delta E that meets your needs.